Hello there, Elizabeth Mahusai, Premier Designs, Texas Glitz, Jewelry Lady, coming to you live on YouTube for Ways to Wear It Wednesday. That's right, I am trying to make the move to uh, be giving, bringing these broadcasts to you on YouTube, so I want you to expect more of them, and I want you to share uh, with other folks that love to know about jewelry because a lot of the things that I teach, yes, it's specific to the piece of jewelry that I'm highlighting, but it can be applied in many ways in your accessory collection and also in your wardrobing as you're thinking about incorporating um, your jewelry and what to do with it and how to pair it and all the different things that you can do to get the most wear for your um, jewelry. Hello there, Kat. So good to see you. I'm so glad that you were able to be on. I would love for you to share the broadcast on um, your social media outlets if you are able. I hope you've had a super day. So good to, um, so good to see you. So, um, hi, Marisa. Good to see you there in Indiana. How is the weather there? Is it really cold? Is it snowy? What is happening over there in, um, in Indiana? Because um, I've seen some pretty crazy snowstorms um, going on in some of the northern states. So, I'm wondering what it's like in Indiana. Um, I'll look forward to um, seeing those comments as we go through. Okay, because this is really a new um, or a newer, I'm doing uh, cold in the 30s, no snow, thank goodness. Girl, I hear ya. In the 30s, that's cold. Um, we are, it's like we're in this crazy time where we are doing, um, you know, we will be like lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. And that won't last long. I, I, I know that as we crest into January and February, it'll stay more consistently like highs in the 40s um, and lows in the 30s. But anyway, it's, um, <clears throat> we, we were, in, we're enjoying more temperate uh, weather uh, in the, during the daytime, which has been nice, where I can like wear this and not have to have a jacket on. I do love it. I see we've gotten a couple of other viewers. Be sure to give me your city and state, please. As you log on, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started for those who will watch the replay so that I can be respectful of your time. Up in Wisconsin, they have 22 inches of snow. Kat, I know right now you are celebrating being in South Carolina, woman. I, I, oh, I can only imagine how thankful you are to not be in 22 inches of snow, girlfriend. That's a lot of snow. Whoa. I, I can't even imagine. I love snow, but I want it to be here today and gone tomorrow kind of thing. I don't want to be stuck in the house. I don't want to be shoveling snow or breaking up ice. I'd rather not have to um, do any of that. I know you are so excited for sure um, over there in warmer South Carolina. Hello. <laughs> I've read shots from the kitchen table. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai, Premier Designs Texas Glitz Jewelry Lady. I go live every Wednesday so that I can teach you about accessorizing, what to do with your jewelry, how to incorporate it into your wardrobe. And this week, our challenge is, what do you do with a, a simple necklace? This has a little turquoise in it. And how can you make that work in your necklace, or in your necklace, in your wardrobe? So first, let me show you um, just the features of the necklace. So as you um, saw, it has turquoise enamel and then also silver, and it is reversible. So you've got antiquing on this side with that same um, more floral-like pattern. It also has a built-in extender. So you see the options for how you can um, extend it. And of course, a lot of our necklaces have removable extenders. Um, so this, it just stays with the necklace the entire time. Um, so that's really a nice, I, I like that. That's a nice feature. So I'm gonna show you the longest um, that this can be. 
Um, so there's with the full extension. So you can actually get pretty good length on that necklace. That's on just the silver antique side there. Um, and th what this allows you to do is you don't have to feel boxed in by the fact that it has the turquoise enamel. Um, you can actually enjoy it um, just on the silver side, or you can, of course, turn it on, turn it over and enjoy the, I like that little pop of color. I think there, there's a lot of benefit um, to that. Now, of course, the earrings that go with it also have that same feature. So you've got the turquoise side, and then you have um, on the, um, you have on the earrings the ability to reverse the little medallion on there. So let me show you how that works. So this is a European wire clip right here. And when you open that up, you're able to pull this off just like that. And then you can flip it around so that you can get it to the antique side. So that when you put it in your ear, it's only gonna show the antique side. So let me just put it there. Um, and then of course the turquoise is on the back side. So that gives you a lot of options because you can flip those around. So this, this pair of earrings could really be like an everyday pair of earrings in your accessory collection. So I want you to keep that in mind. Um, these are gonna be a great, a great addition along with the necklace. And I'll show you a couple of other ideas for earrings um, as well. Now, when you're thinking about wearing this necklace, I mean, this is, it's either gonna be this length or it's gonna be shorter. And then you're gonna to wanna to think about what would I want to put around, um, around the necklace to give it a little bit more um, oomph, you know, just more uh, a, a bolder look, for example. So I'm gonna give you some of my favorite options with um, this particular necklace. So the first is gonna be Willow. I love taking the turquoise um, and pulling in the turquoise of the um, willow necklace. And we've also got some rose gold and some gold um, that is a matte. You've got this antique silver here as well. So you could also um, flip this around and wear it this way um, in that uh, with this framing it as well. And of course, you could create shorter layers with this also. Um, so I really like this look also. Um, just in creating more around the neckline. And again, it depends on what you're wearing and the look that you're trying to achieve. I just wanted you to be able to see that you could um, have some fun with the willow necklace and really pull that turquoise coloring uh, to the forefront or utilize the antique um, silver portion. The other thing I wanted you to see is our snappy necklace. And the snappy necklace, you are able to frame it um, also quite beautifully. So here we have it again, it's on the antique side and we could flip this over and put it on the turquoise side. I really like it on the turquoise inside, framed inside the, um, the snappy necklace. And of course the snappy gives you options because you're able to, you see it doubled, we could take this and triple it so we're gonna create a triple look and now we have this more around the neckline and you can adjust this so that it's looking more like it's a pendant on the snappy necklace by shortening it and bringing it up closer um, to, um, to the snappy necklace. So keep that in mind, play around with where you have the extender um, so that you can adjust the length of your um, the, the length of your necklace. So that's really a fun thing. And also keep in mind if you have the snappy um, brace necklace, which can also be a bracelet, you can. This is going to be a great bracelet for this particular um, necklace. So you, it really does give you um, a lot of versatility by having both of these and how you're able to utilize them. Um, the other one that I wanted to show you, if you really wanted to have more of a bold look, was to go with this turquoise piece. And so let me bring up, so I have, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna take my extender off so that you can, so you can actually create the length that you want with this necklace because it's double lobster closure. So if you wanted to have this in the neckline and wear this longer, um, in that bib style, you could totally do that. So this is a beautiful combination here as well. And again, 
This is double lobster closure, so you're able to um, adjust it for whatever length you need and how you need for it to fit into your, um, into your, you know, where your clothing is concerned, the length of your necklace, uh, neckline, all of that. So take a look at that. I, I think that's super, super, super cute. Um, and just very, very pretty how you can pull those two things to, um, together. Uh, so that is definitely a, um, a great combination. Bracelet wise, you can do the Aruba. So here's the Aruba bracelet. It is a wrap bracelet. It does have a removable um, extender, but because of the extender, if you really wanted to be um, just super on trend, you could make it a choker and use this a little bit longer in the front. This is another great on trend um, look. And of course you're pulling that turquoise, um, all of those turquoise colors to the forefront of your look when you're um, when you're doing that. So keep that in mind that the wrap bracelet really does work well with this piece. Now, if you wanted to do a, a, a larger pair of earrings, so this is the ear, um, these are spunky. These are the earrings that um, come with um, this necklace, but you could do the happy earrings. So if you wanted to have a little bit more of a chandelier or dangle earring, you could go with the happy earrings. They are super cute with this. So you could do the Aruba bracelet, the happy earrings and the spunky necklace and really have a well put together look. Of course, your other option would be to go with the Julia um, earring. Uh, so I, these are some of my favorites. They're lightweight. I love the oval shape. You see that there uh, and they're fish, uh, fish hook. So I, I just like there and they're so lightweight. You don't even know that you have them on. Uh, so I, these are some of my favorites, and I, um, I definitely, you can't go wrong with those. Those are a great wardrobing staple. Now what I want to do is I want to, I pulled some things from my closet to give you some ideas of um, what, how you can incorporate this from a clothing standpoint in order for it to work um, in your wardrobe. Okay, so I am a cardigan girl. I, I don't like being cold. I like things that layer so that when, it, when I get hot, I can take, you know, I can take the, the warmer layer off. Um, so I have cardigans like this um, in my, um, my closet that, you know, on occasion I will wear. But this one has beautiful, look at those beautiful turquoise um, tones in there. And this necklace looks fantastic with this, okay? So if you were to put that inside there, you just want a little something um, in there, then uh, this necklace works really, really well. And of course, you could wear it on either side, but I really feel like the turquoise um, really helps to pull that um, color to the forefront. Now, keep in mind that this necklace is is year round. So turquoise and silver, you're gonna be able to wear year round. This is gonna transition well from fall to winter to spring. And so here's a more springy top. Um, and I wanted you to see the turquoise in there as well. So you can see that this has some blue and some turquoise in it also. And so this necklace would work really, really well on um, with this one um, also. So I just wanted you to be able to see, see those cardigan options so that you can get some ideas for what you're going to do in your wardrobe. And then I pulled a long sleeve shirt under a kimono because kimonos are so still on trend. And I wanted you to see that putting your turquoise on another color really does cause it to pop. So putting the turquoise on this color here just really causes it to just make more of a statement. So part of what you do to help your simple necklaces make more of a statement is you think about contrasting your colors and putting this on a different color really helps to bring it to the forefront. So I think, and then of course this has that turquoise in there um, as well. So that was, uh, I really, I really like that look. And let's, let me just give you some, some quick, a quick little rundown on why would you want to wear a short, simple necklace. One, simplicity is on trend right now. Two, it fills the neckline. So you see what I did here. I paired a short necklace inside my V-neck and then I have the longer cashmere necklace that's brand new um, that I have on really pulling my gray and my navy all together. 
And of course, um, there is a video, uh, you will see this, I, I posted this video last week um, where I showed cashmere, which also comes with a stretch bracelet and the chameleon silver um, cuff. Um, so that's what I'm choosing to wear today with the glitz earrings, which I showed on last week's video. Um, so you're going to want to wear it when you just want to have, you, you want to have something up close in your neckline. But you also wear uh, simple necklaces can serve you well is when it's a throw and go. You want to go to the grocery store or you want to go to um, a movie, but you don't have a lot of time to think about your jewelry. This is a great piece to put on just so you have a little something um, in your neckline, or if you're working uh, where it's like, for example, on earlier this week, we were decorating our church atrium. And I mean, it's a lot of work, a lot of fluffing trees, a lot of moving things back and forth. I didn't want a long necklace because then you're likely to catch it on something, which is, means it's more likely to break. So a shorter necklace is your friend in those scenarios. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about how am I going to incorporate this into my collection and I look forward to seeing how you style um, Spunky. I would love for you to drop a comment on the video of maybe one of your favorite things that you've either done with it or that I showed you tonight and um, be sure to know, know that you can share the video with your friends whether it's through private message or text message. That's the nice thing about YouTube. You can watch it anytime. I'm Elizabeth Mahusai from Your Designs Texas Glitz Jewelry Lady, bringing to you the simple spunky necklace and all uh, so many different ways that you're able to incorporate it into your accessories as well as into your wardrobe collection. I appreciate those of you who tuned in live. Thank you so much. And I will look forward to seeing you back here next week for Ways to Wear It Wednesday.